let's start. Okay. How are you doing? I'm all right. All right, I'm cool. All right. <laughs> you got your uh, friends in the chat? <laughs> yeah, my guild. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, so how's, uh, oh, the bagels, I see, I see. So how's Shade been? Like the new changes? It's... I actually don't know, what do you mean by changes? Was this like a couple of years ago? Or, because I just started playing last year. Well, in general, like the reboot passive change should have... Um, oh, the final damage changes. Impacted Shades it's... quite a bit from what I heard. Yeah, it's been all right. I mean, I'm one-shotting VC3 now, which is nice. Mm -hmm. I saw a little bit of a damage increase, but as a Shade, I'm not doing much damage, so... Mm -hmm. I'm sure the da the... It'll scale harder later on. Exactly, yeah. It'll just improve your scaling the further you go, for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, and I guess this, uh, and I guess the other change is like the um, the hyper stats being uh, having the presets, right? Correct. Yeah. Being able to switch I between the mobbing I, and the bossing more. Yeah, I should have updated them actually. Mm -hmm. This is pre bossing setup? final damage change. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is this just to get as much damage to the um, to like will as possible? Yeah, it's. I'm trying to like I'm I'm running N Lucid and N Will right now. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to move towards into hard bosses. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. If you're leveling quickly, then your symbols just can't really keep up <laughs> for that content. Yeah. Exactly. Like days, with the yeah. compensation mm -hmm. and everything, it was kind of just I was leveling so hard yep. that my uh, arcane force wasn't there. Yeah, you really have to do a lot of dailies for a while. If you just hard train, you can get to the level requirement for hard will before your arcane symbols. Even with that much yeah. arcane force, it's just not there, you know? Yeah, because I mean, I, I went into Tenebris and I was like at one 110% damage or something like that. And I'm just like, I don't yeah. know how to get it higher to get it to 130. <laughs> so I put a bunch of stats in my uh, arcane yeah. force. Yeah, I mean, if that gets you final damage, then that ultimately that'll be the that'll be the call, right? Is it final damage or is it just damage to normal mobs? The arcane force. Uh, it, it basically multiplies your full damage by a percentage, so it's essentially final damage on um, arcane monsters. I see. Depending on the multiplier, so that's a ten percent, the thirty percent, and then the fifty percent uh, increments. Correct. Yeah. So if you're like a little bit in between, you could also hold on on the 30%, divest some points until you can make the jump to 50%, something like that. Okay. And that's at 50% higher than... Than the, the map requirement, map. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. so it's always 10 to... If you hover, if you're in any map and you hover over the, the arcane power in the top left, it should tell you what the percentage is and how much of final damage um, output and damage input is being calculated at, at any given point. If you want to see okay. the if you want to see the maths on that, yeah. I see. But then, yeah, you're so in a map with monsters, I, and if key mobs start hitting my, you, so. <laughs> yeah, that's true. My yeah, complication so right now is yep. um, I'm not sure whether or not I should stick to my shade, okay. or if I should branch out to another main. Mm -hmm. Um, since I mean. I, when I started last year as a Shade, I was like, oh, I've never tried a Shade. I haven't seen many people play Shade. They're always saying, oh, Shade's so bad, et cetera, et cetera. So I thought I'd try it out and be like, oh, I can make this class work. And mm -hmm. now that I hit 250 and nothing much has changed, it's kind of demotivating in a sense. Changed how? Like, I don't I, I guess... Maybe it's different with the final damage change because it actually went up, but going from like 240 to 250, it was kind of the same feeling, but I guess that's just Maple Story in general. Like I'm still doing the same content, mm -hmm. the same rotations, the same meso gains, the same XP, etc. Right. You're not feeling like you're unlocking new content? Yeah. Like I'm, like I'm just stuck in a hole kind of thing. And just to get like a reference point for that, would like doing normal will and versus hard will, would that also feel the same? Because it's still kind of the same boss, even though I the feel like it would be, be more, <clears throat> I guess, motivating to do that mm -hmm. because of the chance at an arcane drop, especially with the boxes yeah. and stuff coming out, right? Yeah. Um, and the pitch boss sometimes. Yeah, and the pitch and will, boss. You know, like, once yeah. in a blue moon. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, I've thought of sw switching to classes like an Adele or a Pathfinder mm -hmm. or something like that. 
just because I hear they're pretty good. And I mean, I've I've made a a Pathfinder and an Adele to 200, so. Mm -hmm. You know. Well, the thing there, and I could definitely see the value there, um, I would see is that I even if you just do one of those characters or both, like a little bit on the side to start building up the arcane power, that will mean that by the time, you know, if you, you still have room to grow for the shade, like to get the normal bosses under control and then get, and then get into the hard bosses, there's definitely still like work that needs to be done, right, to really be going hard on that. But okay. then if you've been building up your arcane symbols and stuff on the other characters in the meantime, and uh, maybe doing Monster Park and, you know, the extra EXP you get from the symbol dailies, all that stuff. I don't know if you're going to oh, take yeah, all yeah. of that on this character or you're going to take that on the other character to kind of, like, help them level up without really needing to confirm a lot of damage, without really needing to invest and fund them very much. And then they can mm -hmm. kind of fund themselves with the symbols that are leveling. And then by the time you play it, you know, you'll have Vanishing Journey and Choo like, over level 10. And you'll be able to roll into the new areas very quickly like that as well. Um, and then maybe because by that time when you really commit the shade is probably going to be um you know if you keep leveling or something typically people try to get to 255 um or not typically but sometimes they do to do extra bonus damage to will as well plus you get into right. limina and then in limina yeah. you finally get into a new area and people like grinding in limina generally because the rates are very favorable there um but sometimes they stay training in limina uh up to 275 all the way up just to make droplets and familiars and all that stuff um and then whatever character they're training with there kind of kind of becomes like a farming character and then on the mm -hmm. side they're like playing another character at the, at the at that point and then like leveling it up and then you know once you get to that point that's hopefully um gives you some time to build up the arcane power and then you won't kind of have the same problem with this one where you kind of get stuck in an area because of the arcane power uh falling short plus you'll yeah. have another character that can fund it which can also be something that you can use to you know kind of go over that boundary that uh that kind of is built you know yeah yeah i know what you mean does that it's kind of like timeline it's kind of like just doing i mean i i rarely do uh, i can't say i rarely do dailies on my shade but i try and do them as much as possible without mm -hmm. wanting to you know yeah quit the game but yeah, uh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um and i mean like especially with these events and stuff like that it, it makes it easier i guess in a sense to do dailies on other characters like capping coins etc etc yep. and uh yeah i mean i've been doing that on a few different characters and with rutabus cra being a reduced to five mm -hmm. per entry i'm trying to get that as much as possible to consider start like trading with other people mm -hmm. since i can do that on my shade and yeah wait it should be really fast yeah mm -hmm. yeah when it comes to like wh whether you pick Adele or um, or Pathfinder, like both will be pretty similar. I think Adele is feels to be much more like a late game character, and Adele feels more like an end game character. Okay. Um, so for the yeah, so I don't think either one of them is like a bad choice, but I'm pretty biased towards Adele for like the longevity and for like the future prospects because I usually kind of play. I usually play for the long term, so. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, the things that I would be looking at more. But if you're, you know, if you want to have characters in like different stages of the game, so you can always kind of revisit that stage and it'll still have like a same level of challenge versus before. So it's not as mm -hmm. not, not as stale, and maybe you can do different party compositions, or you can play with people who are in different stages of the game, and you know, not feel like you're hard carrying them, but also not feeling like you're uber struggling, but you're kind of fit for that content in the game. That's kind yeah. of yeah. That's something something that I wanted to do with my characters as well like I have one character that can do black mage and then one that can do hard lucid and hard will very well and then maybe one that's like barely at the level of the early tenebris bosses and then one that basically can just join a party for normal lucid normal will and then kind of be a regular contributor and then a few yeah. characters that can like party lucid and a uh, party lotus and uh, and damien something like that and that way you can always do different content without it that. yeah like mm -hmm. instead of doing hard lotus and hard Damien, it's mm -hmm. kind of like doing it on your main, but on another character, just in the normal version, it's still the same kind of yep. feeling. And, yeah, and the value is also that even if your highest level character isn't doing like, you know, Chaos to Nebris and Black Mage, but then there are events like now with the Black Beans and stuff, then you can still cap or get very close to capping because you can do all of the level the difficulties of the bosses as well in the same week, right? Right, right. Because they share entries sometimes. Oh, okay. I see. 
So that is like the added value. But usually I don't play with that in mind. I, I usually don't play with a lot of that kind of stuff in mind and, and how I progress through the game. But it seems that whenever the game changes, it changes favorably for me. I just don't know. <laughs> it, it must all be like pure coincidence. But it's like, you know, the added value of the boss crystals and all that stuff is like, oh, I have a bunch of characters that can do a lot of the higher level bosses. That's like actually very beneficial for my income, you know? If any right, nerfing right. happens to like the highest forms of grinding and farming, that doesn't really impact me very much because that's just not how I have the game set up. It yeah, probably like because that. I play quite atypically that the, the most extreme rates, I never make those. But I do like to diversify my ways of, of income and stuff so that if something gets hit, I never get hit too hard. And if something gets buffed, then I also get buffed, but not too hard, right? So it's like a little bit, it's more a safe way, I guess, of um, uh, like a portfolio is a little bit more diverse, I guess. So maybe Yeah, I like can... instead of playing the flavor of the month, essentially, mm -hmm. like an Adele or DS or whatever yeah. the top classes are, or even Akana, mm -hmm. and farming an Akana, if for whatever reason things change, yeah. you have, you know, become a weekly gamer and not a... <laughs> Yeah, there's definitely ten hour a farmer, a ten hour a day farmer. You know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I guess kind of broke, but only for a day, so that's not really yeah. a factor, I guess. But yeah, non KMS classes seem to be every single big patch. They're like, Ooh. <laughs> 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 kind of a uh, sitting and squirming in their chair. Like, I hope I can see. Yeah, waiting. What's gonna wait, break this time? <laughs> yeah. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. Kind of broke with this. Yeah. Yeah. So is um so, so is shade still fun for you or does it starting to feel stale? Where are you it, training it's in VC3? Fun. Um, whether the class is getting stale or the game getting stale, I'm not sure which. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But it's still like it. It feels fun. I love the backstep, the teleport, the mobility. Mm -hmm. It's just the damage is lacking, and mm -hmm. I think that I don't know if more damage will make me want to play the game more or if. It'll be easier for me to clear higher level content, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it's probably just the levels and uh, the arcane force. So, what do you use as feedback to to feel like you're enjoying yourself and like you're moving in a like like what is fun for you? Like, is it just mobbing? Is it bossing? Is it just logging bossing in? Bossing is the fun part. Okay, yeah. yeah. Like, mm -hmm. I I often I probably do one totem a week, mm -hmm. maybe two. Um, just because, I mean, I work all day, I work a full-time job, and mm -hmm. do, coming home and doing dailies on four different characters takes X amount of time, and then yeah. after that, I don't really have much else For sure. to do. Mm -hmm. So, well, and, and then the aspect of when it comes to bossing, like, how do you gauge your, your progress or whether things are going well? Do, is it just, like, how that run goes, or do you do, like, BAs, or are you familiar I, with I how strong BAs, everyone in your party um, is? Yeah. Yeah, I try and I guess surround myself with people that are in the same damage as me, just so it's not like I'm getting carried. Mm -hmm. Say, like, after the final damage change, I think I'm 2.5T or something like that on uh, 230 low defense. Mm -hmm. um, and I think previ pr prior to that, I think I was like 1.8 or 1.9T. So I was like, mm -hmm. oh, a 600 bill increase, that's you know great mm -hmm. but will it help me clear hard lucid and get into hard lucid parties and hard will parties and they're like no you need 3t and i'm like but i'm a shade and they're like but i don't care you're not a con or a bishop so it doesn't yeah. matter mm -hmm. you know so it's kind of like i'm running on copium or hopium i guess for <laughs> uh for a shade buff in the future but mm -hmm. seeing the kms patch notes it doesn't it seems like they don't give a crap well, your current, um, yeah, and that, and that thing is that if anything, they were kind of nerfing or like rebalancing Kanas and KMS because they are like one of the top supports there, right? They don't have Kana to compete with, so right. they're in a completely different uh, situation. They're like more competing with uh, with battle mages and stuff, right? That's more like the category. Wow. Um, but is your normal uh, Lucid and Will party? Do they have the intention to gra gradually progress towards the hard bosses, like, or do you feel like you need to find a different party to do that? Do, do they not have the ambition to? Uh, they do. They want to. Mm -hmm. Um, but uh, a few of us are, I guess, weekly gamers in a sense, where they just log on, do weeklies, mm -hmm. sometimes dailies, and then log off. So there isn't much for like 
the people that come in and want to grind and grind and grind, they usually go from normals to hard in like a month or two. Yeah. And we just get left left behind in a sense, kind of mm -hmm. like we're a, we're an off party. I don't know. Um, yeah, there's wanting to and then there's committing to, right? Yeah. Um, it's just like there's wanting to like, I really want to do that. So I'm going to put the work in and there's like, that would be cool if that were to happen. But like I'm not <laughs> like gonna let the sea come to Moses and not go the other way or whatever the saying is like like if it comes to us then we'll do it but yeah we're not gonna go out there and go get yeah, super we're not sweaty gonna strive for it or yeah yeah we're not gonna farm ten hours a day for a month and then mm -hmm. end up failing because we suck you know <laughs> <laughs> well once you get normal down really quickly uh, and once you you uh, learn the mechanics pretty much by heart and like in, uh, basically the the, the, um, the benchmark that I always put is in normal will if you can basically clear normal will like you pretty much never die unless maybe a little bit in like the last stage or something if some weird yeah. shit happens and you only use moonlight basically to switch dimensions and that's it then you know as long as you have the damage then you're ready for hard will at that point okay and um, has your party ever just tried like a practice run or a real run just to go in and see what you guys can do? No, we haven't really ha uh, tried a practice run yet. I've been trying to get them to do it, but mm -hmm. with with our timings, it's kind of like some some people that are in there have like it's their second mains, mm -hmm. and then after ours, they have their you know hard bosses or Tenebris or Black Mage or whatever like it is, mm -hmm, and then mm -hmm. yeah, it, it's hard it's hard to find a time slot so to speak. Right. And sometimes what? I'll go into like easy lucid mm -hmm. and try and clear that. And I figure like, oh, if I can clear easy lucid by myself, like I should be able to bring some sort of damage to a hard lucid party. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. What, what classes are you running with? Like what level? Um, there are like around 240, 250. There is an arc. There's me. Akana, a Cannon Master, and I forget the other two off my head, but I believe it's either, yeah. Could be Nadell in there, because it's pretty popular. Probably, yeah, <laughs> probably in Nadell, to be honest. They're everywhere. Yeah. Um, yeah, because, I mean, as long as you have those classes, and everyone, and everyone is, like, gradually getting stronger, then eventually you'll just, like, trickle into hard. I would almost say... Um, how fast are the runs? Like, if you do normal lucid, like, how fast are... Does everyone run with guild skills and everything? Yeah, yeah, we're running with guild skills. We mm -hmm. do guild skills on will. And I right. think with will, it's like a... Well, with the tests and everything, is it like a 15-ish minute run, maybe? Like, we do the tests in one burst on all of P1 mm -hmm. and P2 sometimes... Uh, P2 takes a burst and a half ish to get to the first test mm -hmm. and then after that it's just surviving okay so yeah yeah they're about like 15 or 20 minutes each i think and like for mm -hmm. lucid i think it's a bit quicker i think it's like a guaranteed 15 minutes or something like that mm -hmm. okay yeah if, if the normal lucid runs are still like 15 minutes that's probably a bit too early to move to hard yeah yeah i mean we die quite a bit at least i mean i i try and stay alive especially like with my door that i yeah, have you've got shade. some extra yeah survivability stuff in your oh kit. yeah yep. yeah and it's hard for me to get one shot when i can just use a 10 second iframe and mm -hmm. completely dodge lasers and stuff like that so i uh i'd probably say that i humbly am one of the better party members in our party right dying least you mean the, yeah alongside mm -hmm. the people that uh like it's their second mains and they've run lucid for i don't know how long yeah yeah they'll they'll only die because they're like goofing off and not even taking yeah, it seriously exactly. yeah. if they're just like all tabbing or whatever yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're not even in there like tell me when domain is and they'll just yeah, die exactly. two times or they'll sit in the corner and say i'm waiting until test yeah it's like, oh, great. <laughs> yeah yeah okay yeah the the mismatching of a party there with like the ambitions could be could be a thing i guess you can ask those people if they are planning to ever move their character up for hard as well mm -hmm. and if they are then maybe you can move up with them yeah. Um, yeah because it is one of those things where you have to like through your behavior and your actions kind of like show that you're willing to do this stuff 
Because if there's like three types of people in the party, like people who just log in for weekly, they just want to get the clears, they get the shards, and it's just, you know, more like a crystal income for them, basically. Yeah. Um, and then you're there and you're kind of stuck in between, and then other people, you know, have the ability to move forward, but they maybe are not with their character, but they might one day. Um, that could be a mismatch of like ambitions of the people in the party, right? Um, and I think it's totally fine at that point to like look for a different party, but I always really tell the party like, yo guys, like I want to move towards um, Hard Lucid and Hard Will like soon. Um, mm -hmm. And it doesn't seem like this party wants to. Like, do we want to stay together and do that, all of us? Or is it just something that we can't do? And if it isn't, then it would probably be best to find another party. But you're saying that you struggle at this point to find another party because of your BA or? Yeah, because of my BA, and like I, I've tried running with some people in my guild, and mm -hmm. usually, um, all the parties are either full, and there's not many people that are coming in that are, you know, trying to strive for hard bosses. Mm -hmm. um, and the ones that do are like, well, well, take you once I can like duo it or like trio it, like, and then they just carry a bunch of us. But yeah, that's um, not the same. Yeah, yeah, it's it's kind of like I don't want to get carried. I want to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because then that feeling it. is gone, right? Then your BA can actually go down, or your yeah, yeah, BA exactly. during the boss goes like, down. Well, what yeah. am I gonna do? I'm just going to be running in drop gear, and I don't want to be running in drop gear. I want the whole Boston experience. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, then it might be... Yeah, I will I would raise that statement with the with the current party first and see if there's maybe one or two that actually still want to do the same, and then you guys can stay together and start with two or three people. It's always easier to find a, find a party that way rather than being yeah. completely alone, right? And then if each of you can find one person, then now you're four or five people. Um, and then it's a matter of just looking for a fill, maybe. And maybe there's someone in the guild who's like... Trap well, somebody in central. <laughs> yeah, maybe that. Yeah, maybe it's someone in my chat. <laughs> someone in my chat was already saying, like, he can join my party. I want I want to shade support, you know? So oh, okay. there's probably There's always some people looking. The problem is getting everyone together at the same time, right? Mm -hmm. And also having the same ambition with the party. Trying to reach the same thing and take the boss as a similar level of serious that you can achieve it. Uh, achieve the success that everybody wants to that can be tricky yeah. and it's definitely annoying if you have to be the only person like organizing and grabbing everyone together that could be very annoying um yeah. and it's better if it's multiple people who are like taking ownership of the of making sure that everyone gets there in time and everyone you know preps properly and, and does their stuff because um, mm -hmm. it's fun to have so it's fine to have some bosses that are just like oh you're just a group of friends and you're just hanging out and you're just chilling but it's yeah. if you want more than that or something different than that then it's yeah you have to you have to mention that and then you have to move into that because otherwise it's just never going to happen yeah and it's it's not one of those things where it's like oh it's just gonna a miracle's gonna happen or whatever but well I guess, the 30 yeah. percent final damage would be one thing where you're like okay now we're literally killing normal lucid in like four minutes we should probably just do hard right yeah but it wasn't that for... big of <laughs> you know it's not like you got 200 percent final damage or something yeah exactly if something like that were to happen then yeah you probably move on but yeah that's gonna be that's gonna be a bit until they give us that kind of crazy power spike yeah so um so yeah i mean i would um Advise you to like ask around in a guild. There might be some Biggles is pretty big guild, right? Do you guys have like a boss sign up sheets or something where people yeah, can see? Yeah, yeah, we have uh, we have boss parties and then like recruitment channels and stuff like that to mm -hmm. try and you know, I'm always in there every week trying to look for at least like some hard lucid practice or if somebody wants to take me on just for you know an actual a, party. Just yeah. for a run or two, like as a fill kind of thing. Yeah, because if you're yeah. over two trill as a support, I think that's fine. Yeah. That should be good enough. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's Especially what they if you've been said running too. normal for a while, you should have the mechanics and everything, so it should be good. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I guess I'm, I might try and talk with one of the juniors or something like that and get, I don't know, maybe mm -hmm. hop into a party or something like that. Yeah. It, we d there is a point, though, where, like you said, like a lot of people will get so strong that they can basically just solo and duo it. And they're yeah. just okay with duoing and then carrying some people. And then those people, it'll be their second or third character as well. And then they can just carry their other character for a chance of more arcanes, right? And it'll be very fast runs as well because they'll just blow the thing up. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and it's one of those where maybe if you technically aren't getting carried, you're proportionally so much weaker than that it essentially becomes like a carry because of the <laughs> because of how the damage is distributed. Yeah. On the top end, yeah. I mean, as a shade though, like with especially with the split in phase two and everything. Well, actually, this because phase two, well, she still counts as a stationary boss even when she's bound, right? So you can still split her. 
Yeah, well, I split her and it goes into two, yeah. like, the actual soul comes out or whatever like that. And mm -hmm. it's still kind of buggy where I'll split it. The and split then, can fall? Like, she could. She, the split doesn't fall. It just is, like, t 10 feet away from her, like, mm. below her or something like that. If, if I split her while she's moving down, like, if she's... If she gets bound while she's falling, and then I split her, the soul will continue like below the... the bottom platform. Oh, and... the inertia. <laughs> yeah, and it's just like, hey, try and hit the top one because the bottom one's useless. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. if you have to choose, don't get baited <laughs> into the weaker one. Yeah, exactly. One, you know? And I'm I'm constantly calling that out. I'm like, hey, that is not the real one. Like, uh, come down here. Mm -hmm. it, it's not the one that's all the way up in the sky. It's the one that's on the bottom platform. Yeah. So yeah, the, yeah. So it comes down to the timing of the. What c could you? Hmm. I think if you split it first and then bind both of them, does it? Does that fix it? Does it keep the? No, because this, this the soul split essentially doesn't move. It just when I split it, it will either appear right on where Lucy uh, is, it'll appear or down like I see. way down below. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I don't know why. It happens, but mm -hmm. that's the question I've been asking myself <laughs> that's just since playing this game. Hashtag yeah, just why? label things, yeah. Some yeah, things exactly. just are, man. You gotta just let it go, man. It's, Some things uh, just it's are. It's intended, right? <laughs> yeah, the intended it's gameplay. It's not a bug, it's intended. No, totally feature, yeah. Um, yeah, but I think, yeah, if you think your mechanics are uh, as good as you say they are, and then, you know, you have... Um, yeah, maybe for like hard will or something, they'll probably want you to get that arcane power up to 1140 for that extra bonus damage. Mm -hmm. um, but at least you're already 250. Sometimes people start running hard will even like slightly below 250, so that final damage lost there can al almost be canceled out with the arcane power difference. So, right, um, right. You're at least getting the 30% bonus, so that's yeah, that's decent. And that, yeah. oh, sorry. No, go for it. Um, I wanted to ask you because i've asked a few people in my guild and it's the weirdest bug i swear on my life every time i log in mm -hmm. to the game i look at my arcane force like on there and it is 1040 mm -hmm. but when i change maps it goes to 990 mm -hmm. i don't know why i lose 50 arcane force and i don't know if it's a visual thing or if it is a for a little bit and then it goes back or no, like it just it just drops down. Like my my regular arcane force is supposed to be nine ninety, but it shows ten forty when I log in. Huh. I, how, I don't understand. And how much is the hyperset giving you right now? I have no idea. I'm not even logged into the game. Okay. I should log in. Is it plus ten past ten? Like, does that give you seventy or? I believe so. Something like that. I think yeah. Because hmm. I'm wondering if there's like one source of 50 that might be enabling disabling. Um, let's see, you have 890, 150. The guild is supposed to give 30. I am using a custom title, somebody in chat was saying. And does that give anything? I don't think it does. Where's the last 20 coming from? Hang on, guild is 30. The arcane force I think is 70, so that's 100. And then you have 890 from your symbols, which is 990. So where is that extra? Oh no, that's 50, yeah. Where's an extra 50 coming from? Chat, where's your extra 50 coming from? <laughs> Figure it out. It's just, it's the strangest thing because somebody actually mentioned that to me when I was taking these pictures. I was showing them on. Ah, maybe Discord. your title. Did that title give 50 at some point? Yeah, it is the Eternal Flame title. Yeah, so it probably adds that stat even though it shouldn't add that. So that's probably what's being bugged right now. Okay. So you're actually at 990. Um, and you heard the maths that I did, right? So guild plus yeah, working power yeah. plus the bit, yeah. And oh yeah, I just took off my custom title and it went away. Yeah, so that's the one that's that's bugging it out. It's accidentally adding the stat. So that's possible that in the same picture, your bonus damage here and IED and critical rate and critical damage also show up as higher than they actually are. Maybe right? Right. Yeah. Huh. That is the strangest thing. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, just some. 
it's intended. Things, it's intended to <laughs> <laughs> feature. <laughs> Applek was right. Yep. Um, I've also had a feeling towards trying to go for Legion. Mm -hmm. Like at the moment, uh, well, at least in the screenshots, my Legion was like six point four k, and I'm at six point five right now with the new Terror Burn. I'm trying to push around. 7k but i don't think that it'll give me that much of an increase as would um like going from 5k to 6k is huge but going yeah. from 6k to 7k isn't that big of a deal no it's no you want to push all the, and... yeah you want to push all the way up to eight both for yeah. the just for the 7.5 to 8 getting the extra five characters in and they're all going to be mm -hmm. 200s at that point so that's going to be an extra 20 squares filled at that point right so without the title now, what's your um, what are the numbers in um, in the grid when it comes to ignore defense and critical rate and critical damage? I think it's about the same. Okay. Like uh, in Legion, the Legion grid is twenty crit damage, twenty two crit, and then nineteen boss. But I have to I have to change that because I open advanced my Pathfinder to a marksman for now to mm -hmm. gain more crit rate on my shade. Yeah, so if we're, um, I guess, past the uh, the intro stuff and where you want to go with the character, um, and we want to go more into that stuff, how familiar are you with my commands and everything? Um, I have not looked into them. Okay. But I, I, I've been asking my guild much about, like, progression advice and stuff like that. Yeah, it's probably and, very similar. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, and then they were like, stop asking us, go to Skardor, he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> will help you pay the money and they gave me about like half of the money i'm like okay i guess and, <laughs> yeah they funded your progression session so you would yeah, just stop exactly. asking they're, yeah they're like they're like stop asking us questions you just five Go bucks fuck off <laughs> <laughs> exactly they give you twenty dollars to fuck off uh, okay i see i see crowdfunded progression yeah i see well thank you bagels appreciate that and they say and they say reboot isn't pay to win i don't know yeah <laughs> How nice and rude. Yeah, that's like <laughs> that's a really nice thing and a rude thing at the same time. Um, yeah, so I have a bunch of commands with uh, with info for all of the individual things, basically, that are going on in the game. Individual stats, individual sources, individual uh, systems that you can use to, to, to just play the game and to progress. Um, all of these have more, you know, specifically in-depth information on all the things that are relevant for your growth. Um... But you, ha you haven't seen any, or well, you may um, have actually seen I'm some. Assuming, <clears throat> I'm assuming you have the like hyperstat calculator thing. I've used that, but I haven't used it in like. It, that's forever. the one I, I, I actually don't use. <clears throat> I actually don't use that one. Oh wow! Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. I um, what's it called? I I used it when I was like two, forty maybe, and then mm -hmm. since then I've kind of just, off the top of my head, thrown in yeah. stats wherever it feels fit. So that's fine. Um, I would say that's fine up until like 240. And it definitely changes now with the hyperstep preset is now you can very specifically do one for mobbing and one for bossing. And I think then yeah. it becomes a bit more a bit more important because the value for your time is higher to just kind of figure it out and to follow that line and to, to be like, okay, I'm just going to sit on like 30 points and wait until I have 35 to get something from 9 to 10, right? Uh, because you know the direction that that hyperstat preset is going in versus before like it's fully hybrid and it's going to be good for both mobbing and bossing which means it's not optimized for either one anyway so whether i you know wait a little bit or level my attack and my strength a little bit with a few points yeah. that i have doesn't really matter all that much yeah i so, guess that makes sense too like with the mm -hmm. normal monster damage yeah exactly <clears throat> yeah the, the addition that of that one yeah. and, mm -hmm. yeah and maybe needing not as much arcane power if you're training, then you can go down a little bit, focus on the damage to normal monsters, like you said, maybe in e bonus EXP, right? So you can train a little bit faster yeah, as long yeah. as you can still one shot with the damage percent hyperstat. And then all of the boss and the IED goes away and you're just getting, you know, the base. I have like a hyperstat video. It basically always just comes down to a certain priority of stats. And it's the same thing for which link skills you pick first, which you know, which Legion characters you level first, or how you build your Legion, and where you put your hyperstats, it's always the same thing. Like, you want to get your final damage to be as high as possible. How do you do that? Well, 
if there's any way that you can increase your final damage in both mobbing and bossing, then that's very important. So like, how can you do that? It's by leveling up your symbol so you can get more arcane power, right? Or leveling your hyperstat mm -hmm. for arcane power, or it's getting final damage out of your nodes. Like those are the important things that are out there. The second right. closest one is when it comes to mobbing and bossing is critical damage, because it's basically like final damage, but it's additive. Um, and because we have limited sources of it, it's you can almost treat it as if it is final damage. So getting critical damage high up, how do you get that? You have to make sure you hit a crit first. So it's critical rate first, then critical damage right after that. And then if you're bossing, your final damage comes from getting the least amount of damage reduction because of the uh, boss's armor, right? Because of the PDR. So that you want mm -hmm. your IED to be at a healthy number to make sure that as much of your damage goes through so that your final damage multiplier on the boss is as high as possible. And then what's okay. left is boss damage, basically. So everything that's left after that, throw it into boss damage. And it's about the balance of all of these things, but that's like the general order. So that's how you look through what character do I level, that's how you look through where do I put my hyper stats, in what situation, and that's how you look at how do I fill my board. Um, so the numbers that you're like roughly looking for in the stages of the game, I put that into this command here. And then that is like a gradual, or gradual, a general uh, goal to to be aiming for, um, depending on where you are in the game. Because like your damage range doesn't mean anything, right? Like that number is just there. It's like cute. It fluctuates yeah, yeah, like 300% during a boss fight. <laughs> It's yeah, like, what's yeah, your range? Yeah. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Does it matter? Nobody, not really. It's it's not like it was years ago where exactly. people were like, oh, wow, you're two mil. Like, that's great. But no, it's like, yeah. now you could be a 10 mil Kana doing as much as a 30 mil Adele. And it's like, oh, oh sick. Yep. Or the other way around. Yeah, it could be yeah. both ways, depending on your boost nodes, depending on your IED, right? All of those things I just mentioned damage, that mess, yeah. around, mess up with your quote unquote final damage or your direct final damage. Um, yeah, it could be all over the place. So it's important to kind of know where your character needs to be at different stages so that you can have um, the peace of mind that wherever you're spending your time the most is giving you at that point like a decent level of efficiency. Not to be like a hyper over efficient robot playing a game, but to just get the sense that, you know, you're not completely wasting your time. Because a lot yeah. of times you'll just, even if you're not, that insecurity can also seep into like I don't that can drain like the enjoyment out of what you're doing as well because you're not like a hundred percent sure that you should even be doing that. Um, I don't yeah. know if you recognize that in any capacity, but I have seen that with people that they they kind of get paralyzed with I don't I'm not gonna do much because what if I do the wrong thing then I'm just fucking up and then it ends up with them yeah. not doing anything and then maybe that's sometimes the worst thing. <laughs> Trying not, not to it. prioritize on the min maxi and more so the general aspect yeah because even though there's yeah. a bunch of numbers here it seems like you're min maxing hard but you're actually trying to do the opposite because you're just trying to roughly approach these numbers and as long as you're like in the ballpark you're good and then you can move on to something else and the yeah. great part is also if that some of these things are just things that you you can't work on that well like let's say that you have play very irregularly or you can never play on a sunday that means you can never participate in the sunny sunday boosts which means that your star force and your potential is probably going to suffer a bit because you know you don't have the money uh you can't spend your money efficiently during those events well you can compensate right. that by for example getting a higher legion or you know doing your potentials a little bit differently so you're not as reliant on the flat stats but maybe the high by keeping the IED, the critical damage, like those important stats that specifically come a lot from your Legion and your links, by keeping those very high, you might be okay with being a little bit lower in a Star Force and the potential because it'll compensate with each other. So that way you can right, also right. kind of see the balance within the account shifting from one side to the other. And as long as you're just, you know, you're closely to, to where these numbers say, then you're on the right track. And then I think spending wherever you want or wherever there's an event or, you know, whenever you have time, is, is whatever you like you can you can be the master but if there's something where you're lagging very far behind then I would advise to spend a little bit more time there than on any other subject um, so this is basically like the backbone of, uh, of, of a session um, and we can go through this whole thing one at a time we probably already have gone through some of these things um, but is there if you look at this so you should you would be like early uh, late game here right Right. Um, is there any stat here that you see or anything where you're like, okay, this is completely off or this is where I should be paying much more attention or does this seem reasonable? Yeah, like that's what I'm looking at right now. It's like my IED seems pretty low, mm -hmm. but 
I have like 15% IED familiars, so I try and use those as much as possible outside of will, like I have uh, healing familiars and stuff like that. Right. Um, mm -hmm. My star force looks about the same, but that might be skewed because of... Uh, yeah, that's without the, the buff from the guild. I think guild gives right. you, what is it, 15? 15, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so with and that... Somehow, somehow my star forces got lower since I took those pictures a few days ago, and I have no <laughs> idea how, um, but okay. that that's... You have a drop rate equip on? You know what? That's actually probably from the the custom title. The title might actually. as well. Yeah, yeah. It gives arcane power and star force probably because it's trying to help lower level characters get into the star force areas yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. So it and might give like go. thirty there or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those fake uh, those fake stats were flying in there. Yeah. So when it comes to ID. Um, um, yeah, so we can roughly go over them like main stat that's self explanatory, right? Crit rate self explanatory. But for crit yeah. rate, it's important to keep at 100% like at all times. So if you have decent sharp eyes, you can go to 90 without. Because um, you have some stuff that gives you a bunch of crit, right? As a shade, but it only kicks in like 50% yeah. into the boss. So that's kind of just useless. Yeah, that's uh, the most depressing thing. It's like you get crit damage. Yeah, yeah. Well, when that's the a good one. the yeah. below 51% HP, it's like, oh, your critical rate goes up by 80%. I'm like, yeah. great. <laughs> great, yeah. That literally means Let me nothing. redo my links <laughs> mid-boss fight real quick. Yeah, exactly. And then for the You're next like, phase, oh, get it back up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, this is why this is why they changed it so that you can change your boss links ten times a day now. So that yeah, mid, there you go. It's for every phase off. of the boss, you can switch all your links up to min max yeah. or crit damage. Yeah, okay. During um, P two will test, they'll just swap yeah. it because it's below fifty. There we go. Yeah, after during the test, swap it. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Mm. That's why you have all that survivability, so you don't die while you're doing that. Exactly. <laughs> we finally, finally figured, it, figured out. it out. Yeah. yeah. Um, so the functional damage and stuff, so that was adjusted downwards a bit, right? Because of the the reboot change. Uh, that number yeah. was quite a bit higher before. Um, this is probably still looks very low compared to what you have now, right? Because of Shade is definitely on the higher end. So I do have a mention here. Uh, there's like a website here where basically they look at all the characters. So you can see which characters are probably going to be on the higher end here and it could be significantly okay. higher like you could already be at like 400 percent at this stage just because of your kit yeah. uh, kits can be very different uh, when it comes to ied look, i look at the functional ied are you familiar with the difference between functional and visual um no so I... when you uh look if you look at your screen that's just like your visual ied so every single hit that you do regardless on what you hit and regardless of what skill you do is going to uh be sent with that IED, but what IED is actually calculated on impact, that depends on uh, skill specific buffs and on boss specific debuffs, right? Or target specific debuffs. And that's okay. applied on hit. So the on hit, that's like the functional IED, that's the number that we want to calculate for, not whatever is sent out because that's irrelevant, right? Like if you have right. someone in your party that gives 50% IED debuff, then you're probably fine running around with 89. That's totally clean because 50%, another 50% line that puts you at like 95, right? So okay. at that point, you're just golden. But, um, and again, why is 95 golden? Well, you know, because of the balance of all the stats and what is achievable in the game, right? It's not yeah, that one ID number. You get, uh, harder it is to get more kind of thing. It's multiple, multiplicative, right? Not yeah. additive like boss damage. Yeah, but at the same time, the bosses have 300% PDR. So there is also a multiplicative benefit of getting more IED. So you don't also don't want to underestimate stacking IED. That's why for endgame, you go for like unironically for 98 functional, sometimes even higher than that. Because um, like if you have 98 and you're attacking a boss that has 100% PDR, you're only losing 2% final damage there, right? So it's not crazy. Okay. But if the boss has 300% PDR, you're still losing 6% final damage. And then even a little bit of an increase in IED could still be. So it all comes down to like, what is the um, opportunity cost, right? Are you familiar with right. that concept? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so like, even, yeah. like, with, if you were 98 functional, going from 98 to 98.3 would be, like, a 1% final damage increase yeah, at exactly. a boss that was 300. Okay. Yeah, but getting 0.3 extra when you're already at 98 uh, would be, like, increasing... Um, like, by, like, 20% or something like that. Uh, like, a fifth? Uh, yeah, that would be 0.4, yeah. So, it would be, like, 15% for, um, for a 0.3, yeah. Okay. 
or 30 percent. I don't know how 6, yeah. how anybody would get that high of functional ID. That's it's mainly crazy. if you're a party. So like right now, I think on my arc, I actually go over that because um, our kit is pretty big and the opportunity cost for like going for more percentage damage at this point, it just doesn't really like, you know, you put your hyper sets up to 10 when you're level 275, right? Like even if you don't really need the IED, it's still going to give you the the final damage increase that makes it worth it. Um, and then during my burst, you know, you get 20% from the, you can get 20% from a hyper staff, for example, 20% from your boost node, 20% from a buff, another 20% from a self buff. Maybe you have familiars with IED. Um, you could have lines of IED on your weapon secondary emblem, right? You can be in party with a zero like I am that gives a 50%. Um, and then during your burst, it could be even increased with some other stuff. And then some skills have built in 100% IED. So no matter how much you have, even if you have zero, that skill hits like there's 100% uh, IED. So. And that's that, how you that's can additive IED. like it's additive the 100 or sorry multiplicative the 100 percent, not literally 100 yeah. no functional. it's well if it's multiplicative then it's always 100 percent. if you have nothing and you just add one line of 100 percent, you have 100 percent. if you have really? if you have 99 and you had a line of 100 percent, you also end up with 100 percent, right because you're oh, okay so basically how you want to see it because it's multiplicative the line that you're adding gives that percent of how big that line is to how much you're still missing to get to 100 percent. So if you have 98, well. yeah. <laughs> yeah, so if you have 98, you add 15%, you add 50% of the 2% that you're missing, which is 3, oh, which is 0.3%, so you get 98.3. Okay, so like one of my V matrix skills gives me gives me 50% monster defense ignored, so it would be and like an extra line of 50% multiplied yeah, to what be, you already have. Yeah, it would be like 95 then if I was at 90, yep. let's say functional. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, half of the ten percent you're missing, going from ninety up to ninety-five. Yeah. I gotcha. Okay. Yeah. And that's why. So if you have zero and you add one line of a hundred percent, you get a hundred percent of whatever you're missing. That's always a hundred percent final. So that's why when the familiars came out and they fucked up the calculation, right? Um, I don't know if you were there for the release of familiars. If you weren't, no. that's a good thing. Okay. Yeah. The, bless your soul, because that was a nightmare. Well, the thing was that they allowed basically all of the strong, unique lines now. Those were all on Epic as well, and then Epics were crazy available, even though we asked them expressly if that was intended, and they definitely they said definitely that it was definitely so. So that was great. Yeah. Um, but what they did was they did the sources of ID within familiars additively. So if you had one with 40, and then some people had like uh, familiars with two lines of ID on them, like 30 and 30, and you hit 100% within your familiars, it would additively go as a multiplicative source of 100%, and basically you could let like, go of all the other ID you have, and you would always have 100% on everything that you were doing. So it was wow. broken as hell. So they had to <laughs> like make sure that those were individual lines again and split those up, because it was that would actually be just completely game-breaking, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because then you wouldn't need any ID anywhere. No, you, you just... go full damage on all stuff, yeah. Yeah. It would have been a massive, well, not only would have been a massive power creep, but the meta would just be get 100% in your familiars, and then that whole system basically became brain dead, right? Yeah. Because you just get so much out of it. The only thing, some people would probably redo some potentials to get more healing percentage, <laughs> because then survivability might become a little bit harder if you don't do any healing fams, but it would, mm. yeah, it would have been worth it. Uh, but yeah, so, so that's why it's important to know the functional because some characters can walk around with like 80% visual and actually apply like 98 and some people can run around with 80% and apply like 84 because that's that would be like the 20% from the from the boost notes. So it's right, important like to know for your Dual blades have a mm -hmm. high IED. Yeah, so they will go low skills. visual and then end up with high functional basically. So that's why I look at the functional because that's what you want to aim for for everyone so that's the number that you want to go for and then you have to know for your class specifically how you get from a to b um and then there's res resources in my uh chat for that like a video that kind of explains what id is basically what we just went through um and then a calculator that you can put all your sources in and of course you can you know get help from a specific shade discord or another shade who can like make sure that you get all the sources i like to use all the um the visual sources first to so see if I can replicate my current visual ID to make sure I didn't miss anything and then add the functional sources afterwards, the ones that have 100% uptime, right? And that do a significant, uh, are active a significant percentage of the time. Um, and I heard that people in endgame even get extra boost nodes for the low level skills that show up during the 
spare thing so that those things are gonna have another 20 percent id as well and also be yeah. boosted when wherever they activate um yeah that's a min maxi thing for later um and then that way you can see what is your functional at all times or you know roughly you know ballpark and then see if it matches with the id here and then as long as it does you're fine but the other thing it can allow you to do is also okay so what if i want to switch a source out like what if i get a boss familiar and i get rid of like a line of 20 percent here like what am i missing now do i need to replace it with a 15 percent? would that be enough do i need to replace it with yeah. a 30 percent? does it need to be a little bit higher right uh, and there's like grand calculators that do this that can take a while and this is more like kind of like a walmart solution of <laughs> kind of figuring out for yourself that you're not too far off um mm -hmm. once you're like min maxing higher up and you're like 270 plus and you're doing like the hardest bosses in the game i would advise to do like a more calculated uh or sorry more complicated calculator and figure out the exact details um but until then it pretty much just fits until the then it's just kind of wing it and you'll be all right yeah yeah just, don't worry kid go go at him you know yeah or you just ask like a higher level and be like yo um if i want to be like functionally at like 94 how much visual do i need and someone tell you like oh you need like 91 or you need like 88 oh, and then like somebody yeah somebody that's another shade that's might, done, yeah uh, exactly yeah. yeah yeah you can just benefit off that knowledge very easily another nice. um yeah because like for kana for example the only thing you add is boost nodes and if you have the explorer mage link that's the any that's the only thing that ever gets added besides like party buffs right and like big bossing yeah. buffs or something like that so they have to be visually very high and then when you're like uh, i know like a marksman um dual blade i think demon avenger and arc also you don't have to be that high visual you end up very high functional so yeah some classes are just known based for off it. Of skills and stuff like that yeah the kits the kit just supplies you with so much and that's why most of the classes that are like really really strong they just have insane numbers in their kit they'll have a lot of crit rate a lot of crit damage a lot of boss damage a lot of id already so they basically are already set up for success without even needing links and legion and if you get links and legion you can basically funnel it all into damage because mm -hmm. they don't need those other peripheral stats anymore and yeah i said and in the last session i said peripheral as well because um they're more like base stats but like if you look at the legion board they're like in the periphery of of your grid right they were like all on the outside of the grid there yeah, um, yeah yeah and those are the ones that's the big value of, of legion is those stats plus the grid members plus the link skills you add all of that up together it's so much but 6k yeah. is definitely good but if you do want to make that jump to eight i would say it's worth only when you get to eight so i would set up the whole progress there as eight is like the goal like that's that's the purpose of doing anything yeah if anything past 6k is going for 8k really yeah for sure Okay. And then going past 8k is just for flexing on on noobs because yeah, <laughs> even even getting to 10k just from 8k just gets you four extra characters on a board like big whoop. Yeah, um, it's not the important do stuff as is max. It would actually take to get 10k. Oh. Yeah, you're going into crit rate or into knockback resistance or maybe a little bit into buff duration most of the time. Um, or just into like your attack or strength or whatever. Just yeah. A little, or maybe into little. abnormal status resistance for like utility on the higher level bosses maybe. Uh, but that you know that's a logarithmic scaling, so that that definitely tapers off pretty pretty quickly. But some classes might need a little bit more help than others there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Um, but all of that generally makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It okay. makes sense. Um, star uh, forcing, I guess. Well, legion level. Yeah, you're you're definitely like on track there. I'm not gonna say that you need to work like super hard on that. Like if you want. You definitely can, but it's not necessary. Um, it, it, for Legion, mostly, like, I have all my characters at 120 or higher just for mm -hmm. either level 2 links or um, for 140 for the extra yeah, rank block, S. I guess. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it seems like Legion is kind of on the back burner in a sense, mm -hmm. waiting for a big bonk event like the Maple Hotel or for sure. whatever, yeah. and uh, Terra Burns, like in this event. Mm -hmm. And with Lara plus this event it seems like there's a ton of ton of levels to be had and gained and yeah not as many as you would think initially right because you are above 40 characters so yeah. it's only the levels above 120 that'll start counting right yeah and that's the the motivating factor is like yeah i could get a level 200 and spend like a whole day getting level 200 and it only gives me 80 legion levels yeah well, and then I only 80 60. is like <laughs> 80 is still huge, but like the further you go, the compared yeah. to 200, it yeah, feels yeah, for like sure, a for sure, yeah. Amount, but yeah. Yeah, 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 definitely. As I was leveling it up, I'm like, oh, a Terra Burn event. I'm like, oh, great, 200 more Legion levels, and now it's like, oh, a Terra Burn event. I'm like, oh, I'm making a I should be at 6.6 like, or something, and yeah. it's like, oh, great. 
yeah. fun. Yeah, they're they're giving that extra value to reach all the way up to 220 even though, so to kind of like sweeten the deal. So if you do want to make a side character, then that's uh, pretty valuable. Or if you want to at least get the level three link, that's definitely more reasonable to do with a with a Terra Burn buff. Have you have right. you started one already? I have. I'm making a I guess another hero. Uh, my current hero, I'm going to open advance to a paladin, but mm -hmm. I am regretting that decision because. Um, as I hit 170 on my hero yesterday before, you know, the whole doomsday happened, <laughs> yeah. um, it is getting very slow to level, so I don't know if I should just open advance this character to a paladin, mm -hmm. and then farm the 220 on the paladin, and then swap it over to a hero to make a second boss mule, or... Some people do that, you yeah. know, or to yeah. Dark Knight or Paladin, seems... Similar in leveling yeah, like speed, I, they seem favorable to hero, yeah. I don't know if uh, Paladin's mob... Uh, easier than heroes. I will say every character slows down around 170. Um, okay. That's just a bit of a speed bump for everyone. And the characters that you haven't noticed that on is probably the characters that you just bonked past that point. <laughs> and they haven't yeah, really leveled yeah, that's there. Why I, once I, I got 141, I bonk my characters to like 180. Mm -hmm. And then... And then you're I... relegated to only bonking because they can't kill anything at all anymore. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> they're completely underfunded, yeah. Unless that's the, I... the downside. Get carries and like CHT yep. or Zach or you know yeah that kind of throw stuff, a yeah. bunch of cubes on them mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah that's usually so I did it like the funding way like I did um, just up to 100 Zaku runs to 140 and then at 140 I dedicated some resources dedicate some money fund them and then with all of the buffs that are available in the game you know get them from 140 to 200 and then move on to the next one it's usually how I did it because like bonking stuff all of that wasn't didn't really exist um, even those level up potions like the uh, Always called like Amber Waves, right? You remember that one? The Utah's Farm event? We had like no, the. I have no idea. Oh, there was like a farming map where you could. you could, Or like a training map you could train on for like, I think 30 minutes in the beginning, up to 40 minutes, something like that. But you got like crazy rates there, but you could do 30 minutes per character per day. And all of the buffs from all of the people in the map were all shared. So people were oh, just wow. grinding like crazy on their Legion there. People got like 3, 4k Legion just during that event, just going in there and just hard, uh, hard training. Um, but so it's kind of like bonking, but actually doing the training in the sense of getting yeah, you have like a yeah, you basically have like a hyperbolic time chamber where you can just like get crazy experience for like a limited time. But it was yeah. per character, so it was basically limitless because you know half an hour per character. That means you could do up to twenty hours um, of Legion gains if you wanted to. So that was a huge event. But before that, even I was already at eight k because of because of the other strategy. So I never really got the benefit. Yeah that same benefit from it but of course the other benefit is that you know i'm now i have higher level characters that i can push for um and every new character that comes in has got that 8k that 8k bus but yeah the downside of relying more on the bonking even though it's initially faster that in general it can be slower because it feels worse to invest money in a character that's already 180 that's because it's so close already and it feels like yeah. you're not getting that value back versus if you do it at 140 you have 40 extra levels to make that money back and then I always made the money back from the investment and then just I poured it back into the same the next character and then you know made the money back again and then it basically was like a net wash but I ended up with a huge legion um, different approaches I, I think people still kind of do the way I did it uh, on the characters they enjoy because they're like I just I want to play this character more so I'm gonna fund it more and do the all the levels and the characters that they don't like as much they just leave to the wayside and wait for a bonk and then Finish it off, yeah. yeah. But but yeah, I like would my merc, my demon avenger. Exactly, but I would I, I would I, I guess for you and and for the people at home, I would specifically look for characters, and and kind of think like what character am I like what category am I putting them in, and also do that consciously like okay I already have like twenty characters in the, will get bonked one time that's probably a bit too many you know because. When an event comes around, how many can you really do? Like maybe five or six, right? That means you're setting yourself up for like four big bonking events. So that could be like a year and a half into the future at least until that's done. And if you're really trying to get 8K, you might want to plan a little bit more in the midterm and less in the long term. Yeah. So consciously make the decision per character like, okay, this is going to be one that I just fund and, get, and brute force the levels with. You have to like kind of find where's that barrier? Like what am I willing to put up with basically? <laughs> Yeah. And everyone has their own level there, but um, as like an overarching point. Um, yeah, so for Legion Links in general, but you probably have most classes already, but I have uh, this thing where basically I have all of the Legion buffs and all of the Link skill buffs of all the classes in the game. 
um, okay. per category and then the categories are basically based on like priority and who they're good for and then all the levels and the increments are here but you probably already know all of that and then the link skill is the um, the white uh, area and then the green ones are the legion buffs and that okay. basically rolls out to like a general priority of what helps your account the most versus what help your account the least um, but I imagine that with how big your legion is you probably have pretty much all of them all the way down to like the 40 or yeah I, I have all of them like the the crit rates the crit damage um, buff duration I mean it doesn't really do much for a shade as I don't have any buffs besides decent <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Uh, yeah. the it's, only it's, things that yeah. I'm really missing are the like just pure strength right yeah legion. Mm -hmm. things like a kaiser a thunderbreaker actually no, i have a thunderbreaker but yeah and unlike yeah, all the explorer, exactly explorer yeah so you're like at 40 plus which makes sense that's how big yeah. your legion is so like as long as you're in generally um so this is more for other people and you can use that as like a double excuse me like a double check but if people have terror burns have mega burns and they don't really want to make a side character they just want to get a good link skill for their uh for their account then consider these even if you already have like a level 120 um, you might want to consider just making a 210 <laughs> because it's going to yeah. help your account more. Plus, it's also 210 levels for your Legion if you're not at 40 characters yet. So it's just free levels and you can just have two of the same class in your account. It doesn't really, you know, it's not really that big yeah, of a it, problem. it doesn't really affect it that much, yeah. Like, no. I, I, I think I have two Demon Slayers, two Angelic Busters. Mm -hmm. Just because they were 120 and I'm like, I'm not going to train these things. Yep. Like, I mean, maybe a Demon Slayer, but... I'm like, I'm not going to train an Angelic Buster. I'm just going to get the Temp CRA and go nuts with it to 210 yep. and yep. bust but it up. Again, like, the, the opportunity cost could be a factor, right? If if mm -hmm. by picking them, you're not picking another character, and then the combination of having the other character plus the level 2 link on the other one could be greater than just the level 3 link on the on the other character. Um, but right. that's the case-by-case -case basis, of course. Yeah. Um, all right. Um... But I, I'm guessing you don't have any... Like, do you know what you're going to burn next event? Like, the next one? Um, I actually am, like... that. That's also one thing, too, is, like, I don't know what to terror burn now because it's, like, I could terror burn a Kaiser for the strength, mm -hmm. but is that 40 or 80 strength going to do, like, much? Or should I make maybe another character to do a bossing goal because I know the intense power crystals are getting buffed? Mm-hmm in whenever patch i don't know but uh should be the next one should be version 229 i believe yeah okay so yeah it's i don't know it, yeah. it's hard for me to say because with like i didn't really i don't really enjoy some of those classes but it's like it's kind of like a necessary evil to mm -hmm. have to do those classes because if i don't i'm gonna be missing out on like 400 strength <laughs> And yeah, the thing is that one of them might not be that important, but all of it really adds up for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And is there I mean, any class that you might, you know, consider having as a bossing mule? Is, is Kaiser uh, like a chance haver there? Or? <laughs> I I mean, some of those, like, I haven't actually tried them out mm -hmm. post 120. Like, I've played right. reg server, I don't know how long ago, but... Uh, <laughs> a lifetime ago. Yeah, well, th not so much. Like, I think I played up until pff, probably before 2017. Mm -hmm. So I've played, like, Demon Slayer. I've played the Nova classes. Um, you know, but even then, they could be completely different at this point. With yeah, yeah, they could. And, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and Fifth oh, Job yeah, is, yeah. like, a whole new dimension as well. Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah, I mean, I, I would consider making something like a Ho-Young. Mm -hmm. A Terra Burning a Ho-Young because I hear they're pretty good. But I didn't really understand it when I was leveling it to 120 mm -hmm. but I also didn't really take much time into learning it mm -hmm. do you have an arc I do have an arc where is it I might look level 200 ah uh, it's up here oh there it is currently yeah. currently would be higher if they fixed the cooking event but I have to wait <laughs> for that so yeah that's not working properly <laughs> <laughs> I think it's yeah. actually going to be a pretty fun mini game but the fact that we can't yeah, I did, it, uh, I did it for one day, and at 200, it was like 35%. So oh, it, it worked for one day? Level... Pardon? Yeah, yeah, it worked for like one of the, like I think, the, the second day and before reset. Oh, okay. 
when the patch happened. I don't know. Yeah. Something like that. And uh, thirty-five percent just for one. Yeah, year. it was. Th- yeah, it was thirty-five percent at level two hundred. So I'm like, holy, like that is. Oh, uh, the hot fix on un- hot broke it. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Yeah, I I'm think like... so. Yeah. And. Uh, yeah, so I was like, oh, I'm not going to do this on my main because I did some of the calculation with how much XP I need to level, and then mm-hmm. I saw the XP that you get at 250, and it was like, okay, it's like 0.01%. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah those probably things good, always but... scale way better for lower uh, lower characters for sure, yeah. Mm. Okay, yeah, so, I mean, yeah, when you have this many characters, it's basically like, yeah, whichever one you... You want to try, yeah. It's not anything specifically that I would advise, like, oh, make this, make this. I mean, yeah, yeah. And um, I guess one thing too, I should ask, like, about bossing is, what is the, uh, what's the word, like, the progression through bosses? Like, if I can do hard lucid and hard will, can I do glo- like end gloom? And dark now once I hit 255, or you know, like mm-hmm. is that is there like a big gap between that? Because I know like that angel slime thingy is coming out, yeah, and I don't know what that is in comparison to arcane boss. Um, so there's a normal and a hard version there. Yeah. Apparently, the hard version is about um, it's about the so it's about the level of difficulty and hp from what i saw it's like easier than both hard will and then gloom maybe closer to normal gloom because there's like a bunch of mechanics that don't apply in normal gloom that do in chaos gloom and then that makes that boss a whole lot harder but like in difficulty it's probably kind of like in between normal gloom and and hard will and in hp it has a lot of hp but you don't need to be super strong but generally people want to be pretty strong so the run doesn't take forever Okay. So damage-wise, people tend to recruit people who are quite a bit stronger or who can be- yeah, benefit the party quite a bit more just so that the run isn't like a 25-minute run. Um, yeah. But you don't need necessarily that much damage to be able to kill it. It's more about like the little minigame um, pre-thing and you know it's more like kind of gimmicky. Uh, but it's not like super hard mechanically. But yeah, people tend to want quite a bit of damage just to get it over with basically. I see. Okay. And you would say that normal gloom is easier than hard will, or is is it a level thing and an arcane force thing? It's it's mainly a level and arcane force thing. Um, if a, if your party can kill hard will and has the level, I'm pretty sure you can go into normal gloom and destroy it w- once you get like a little bit accustomed to the mechanics. You know the darkness. The main thing yeah. is that darkness is annoying, but as long as you dodge attacks, darkness builds up very very slowly. Um, so it's it's mainly the getting hit by a lot of stuff um, that gets you the darkness to build up. Uh, but you have a darkness. Um, does the darkness cleanse work in normal as well, guys, or is that like a hard only thing? Because I know if you if you're close to cleansing the darkness, like it's going away, um, and you're near other people, then you take a little bit away of their darkness as well. So that way you can make it so that other people don't get into darkness as quickly. And as if you do that properly, that's a bit mechanically more different difficult, of course, because you're dodging all the attacks and you're trying to be at the same spot uh, when someone is ending uh, darkness. But if you can do that properly, that makes the, a lot of the boss uh, like a breeze. Especially if you have dark side, you can. Just ignore most of the stuff that's falling from the ceiling and everything, and then you have a really good, easy time. Um, so it could be a bit more class specific, because I don't think Dark Side does all that much during Hard Will, but then in Gloom and Dark Nile, it's really, really good. Yeah. Oh, it works in both, you yeah. know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and you kind of have. Uh, yeah, so someone in chat was saying apparently they kind of look for various Hilla requirements when it comes to the DPS and the damage requirements for the slime boss. Um, so that's not technically needed, but that's, you know, because they want the faster runs, basically. Yeah, they, they want to ignore mechanics. And yeah, just and you would put Varicella damage. definitely beyond normal, uh, well, yeah, I would put it beyond normal Gloom. It'd probably be at the same level as Dark Nell, I guess. Longer boss fight for sure, uh, but once you figure it out and you figure out the save spots, I would say an, an, maybe an easier boss fight, but then again, the jump from Dark Nell to Hard Dark Nell is, is, is a pretty big one. They just turn everything up to an 11. <laughs> In yeah, that boss yeah fight. it's kind of like going end lucid to h lucid but in a boss that is much harder yeah yeah it's definitely a, like an, a steroid version of that 
It's more like will to normal will, and then that even a bit higher, yeah. Because will okay. is also like the moonlight is also going down, plus everything does a bit more damage. Um, and that combination does make it more difficult. Normal Lotus oh. to Hard Lotus? Yeah, almost that scale, yeah. Where it's like, oh, we're right, just going right, to drop right. like five times the amount of stuff from the sky. Everything is going <laughs> to stun you and everything does like 50% HP. Good luck. Wow. That's pretty much the Lotus chain. <laughs> but again, like the <laughs> yeah, first few runs, you're like, I can't stand anywhere. What the fuck do I do? But you mm -hmm. get used to it. You just have to learn like the timings on everything. Um, and yeah, you'll... You won't see the forest through the trees in the beginning, and then when you go later, like you don't even see forest anymore. You see, you see all the space between the trees, and that's where you can stand, right? It's really, you see the opportunities rather than the than the dangers. <laughs> yeah, that's where I get to eventually. Yeah, it seems like I don't know. I with my going back to my shade and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Like I feel like I want to progress farther like all the way up until black mage and even farther if any more content like that comes out mm -hmm. um but i mean from what i hear from i think i yeah like there's a shade in my guild he's like 270 something he's like shade is useless in black mage because if you split anything it bugs out and the game sucks oh uh, yeah i think he's mainly good in phase one like it would be amazing but if you do yeah. it in phase one there's so much going on that people unironically just their game crashes so you can't even use wow. it there, you know. That's it. <laughs> hashtag next on things. Yeah. Yeah. It would definitely make. Awesome. I mean, most parties that are doing black mage are now okay with killing the phase one quickly anyway. Uh, mm -hmm. But it feels bad that like your main utility you can't even use it in the boss fight. I mean, you use it on the other things to like as a debuff, right? And then it does help definitely. But the main thing is you want to you want that second target and. But yeah, it creates too many lines and people's clients just can't handle it. Oh yeah, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Yeah, with the bursts and everything. I mean, I, like, two of us, like, almost crashed during the last run, and we didn't even have a shade in there, so it was already wonky, yeah. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, but let's uh, let's stay on track with the session so we can get through everything. Um, yeah. You don't have a picture of your Matrix in here. Did you have any questions regarding that? Um, no, I, I had it on one of the pictures. Like, I had my boost nodes and stuff. It's mostly, like... Oh yeah, here. Okay. I'm Twenty something plus on most of them, besides like overdrive, and my decents, which I. Uh, mm hmm Yeah, which is slowly you know, level if you get them, but that's it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and overdrive definitely only gets more important later on, especially once you get an arcane uh, knuckle, right? Because of the scaling. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, burst only. I've kind of focused like with the experience nodes. Like I, I maxed out my skill nodes first. And mm -hmm. then everyone's like, oh, you should be using your experience node stones on boost nodes, or not boost nodes, sorry, skill nodes, not boost nodes. And I'm like, mm -hmm. uh, oh, well, you know. Yeah, because it gives the experience of X amount of nodes, and the individual value per node on a skill node is higher than the boost node, so that's why does, people would advise it doesn't, that. Uh, like, how many nodes would an experience node stone give? I think, it it's, it, I think it's two or three. It's, like, actually a pretty low number. Okay. Which also and means that I think for mid game, the, the experience node is kind of overpriced as fuck <laughs> when it comes to the game. You basically use yeah. an end game on like, if you want to get the will skill max faster or if you're like cl clearing Saren, then I would get it. Otherwise, I just wouldn't even get it. It's because a regular node is 70, and then, yeah, an experience node is the experience of three nodes. But a boost node, I mean, it's like, sure, you can choose, you have that flexibility, that's definitely increased value, but it's not 70 times the value, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah. Or 15 sure. times the value. Um, like, that's not... Uh, I wouldn't say so. So, like, okay. if you're endgame, everything's already maxed, and you'd have nothing else to buy, sure, buy one to when you clear, clear Saren. But other than that, I would I would tell people to kind of stay away from experience nodes stay and just experience get nodes, regular okay. nodes, yeah. Okay. Well, one thing you did say, like, that you're, with your burst and everything, because even though your skill nodes are pretty high, the overdrive definitely will help get your burst, uh, burst up higher. Um, and then the Maple World Goddess as well, those two combined will definitely give you quite a bit more um, damage on the burst if you're specifically trying to increase your BA. Yeah, I guess in a sense, like, if I wanted to skew my BA, I could some, I could get somebody to knock the dummy down below 50% HP and it's like, <laughs> oh, I have an extra 20% crit damage and yeah. then, you know, my damage ramps up like that, but... Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, but Spirit yeah, Flow, I mean, Spirit Gate, they're all smashing multi-punches. They're, they're all like getting up there, so that that's all pretty good. Yeah. 
Yeah. And so I figure my my matrix is pretty okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not 100% on what to do with hyper stats for a shade, but I'm, I'm miss, that looks right, but it may be another. Yeah, I, I looked on central, they have yeah. their okay. hyper stat thing or whatever like that, so yep. I just use those. Yeah, for sure. Um, um, do you have any questions regarding links, link skills and what to use where? Does it all make sense? Uh, link skills, not really in a sense. I mean, with my, my jet link skill is kind of crap and I haven't really mm -hmm. invested much into it. Uh, I don't think I will. I mean, with damage getting lower with the final damage change, mm -hmm. I think the Kana link, like I would need a god-like jet link to... Yeah, again, I wouldn't know what the number is exactly, but comparatively it's lower in value, so if you haven't invested into it already, it's probably a very low priority at this point, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. But, but uh, no, no questions about my links, really. I just okay. figured I'd include them. Yeah, yeah, just for completions. No, that's fine, that's fine. Um, yeah, I guess the one main thing for links would be, like, if you hit crit, right, in your inner ability, then that way that would... Um, kind of change up which link skills you use or how you fill up your legion yeah grid. i previously i had i think an epic line of crit or something like that and i think i rolled mm -hmm. off of it by accident oh like and a 10 percent line then or? pardon a 10 percent line yeah it was like 10 or whatever the it was like nearing max or something like that for the epic line mm -hmm. and then they're like oh you can't get an epic line with just rolling it so i'm like do i roll circulators again to try and get a 10 percent Mm -hmm. Crit, and then I can remove some off Legion and throw it on the boss damage, or should I just keep rolling and hopium for a unique crit line? And yeah, yeah. Uh, crit line makes your damage more consistent in the first half of the boss before your passive has a chance to kick in. If you really value your burst more than anything, this can be a twenty-one attack instead. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. Because of the eighty crit you get, right? So it's only active half of the boss fight anyway. So, yeah, so yeah. some people say like you know they're okay taking like a some a crit hit for the first half of the boss fight and then they'll just you know be a little bit more optimized the second half. Okay. Yeah, it kind of depends. I mean, it can be one of those situations where so you, do you know like the general order, the general approach for inner ability and how to get to like your end game inner ability? Um, not entirely. Okay um because i have a command for that as well i have one for everything um yeah. basically it comes down to this um you try to um so in the beginning you just like you know roll for unique circulate to legendary and then you know if there's an event you might roll a little bit otherwise you use circulators and then you get a top line that's necessary if it's like attack or buff duration you know those things can be very important and that, that'll be okay to just sit on on legendary and let the rest of the lines be garbage mm -hmm. Um, if you don't need one of those, I usually advise to go for Mezzo or Drop, just to, you know, propel your progress a little bit faster. Um, and then if you do want to start, like, min-maxing, it's important to hold... Well, first of all, it's important to have as much honor experience as possible for that. Because the main thing that you want to do is you want to use Circulators to get a good unique line or second or third. Which, you know, would be for you either um the 10% boss or the 20% crit or 21 attack you know so in that's in yeah. that situation you're like okay i kind of want to go for the 20 crit let's say that that's the approach you want to do and you just don't hit it and you're like billions in and you hit 21 attack you could also be like well fuck it this is like close enough for me i'll just lock yeah. this one in because when you save that you lose that top line you lose that attack speed right there's like a 99.9% .9 chance that the attack speed isn't going to be there um so then you have to lock in the um that line and then roll ideally during a 50 percent off roll that top line to get that attack speed back there so at that point you will need your honor experience so the general approach i usually have is just build a bunch of honor experience once you have like a million two million and you're like okay i feel like i want to go for a series this character i want to seriously work on the inner ability wait until there's a 50 percent off circulate for that second or third line but set a budget for that circulator that's very important don't just like i'm just going to spend because you can keep spending and then everything is gone and you got nothing so yeah. i see it as gambling just say like okay i'm going to spend five bill okay spend five bill no more if you get it before that that's great if you don't get it stop and then try again next 50 percent off in ability event if you do get yeah. it lock that line and try to roll that top line back hopefully you get it and then you make a like an objective increase, right? Especially if it's attack speed, because it'll feel bad having to not have that attack speed for a while. 
Um, for the bossing burst and with domains and everything, you'll probably still be at max. So for optimization for party bosses, it won't be that important. But for your rotation, it'll feel sluggish if you're training. And for solo bossing, you'll feel like you're stuck on the ground a little bit more. You'll definitely notice losing a rank of attack speed. So yeah. that's like the general... Um, yeah, and then if you do hit it and then you still have honor experience, you can just hail Mary for the last line and see if anything hits. Most of the time it won't. Because <laughs> it's just... Yeah, yeah it's just Impossible. not going to happen. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, but yeah, that's how I approach inner ability. So even if there's like an event right now, um, I would say there's nothing you can really do. You have to save honor experience. Yeah. Yep. Right. Uh, it's just a rare resource. And you could also, if you know that you want to do that eventually, maybe uh, go a little bit closer towards getting honor medals from event shops to kind of speed up that process because it's a very slow, meticulous thing to build up honor experience. Like. It's training, right. bossing, but event stores and also dojo shop can give you uh, more honor experience every week that can uh, speed up the process a bit if that is what you want to do with your character. Yeah, like, so you r would recommend me going for, like, let's say, like, circulating for a unique crit line and then taking it, then rolling for, like, nearing a 50% off, you said, once I build up the honor to go for an attack speed line on my first, correct? Yeah, I would do that all on the same day, so that okay. if, if on that day you don't reach that 20 crit, then you're like, you know, you could just move on. And if you do hit it, then you can immediately roll on the same time to make sure that there's oh, okay. as, as little time as possible that you are without that attack speed, basically. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. And if you don't have the honor by then, you just skip that event completely and just wait till the next one, basically. Okay. Yeah, that's how I would do it. Um, because it, it just always feels ba bad to go back off of that uh, rank 1 attack speed, especially if you need it for damage. Yeah. Or if you need it for dead cap, I mean. Yeah. Um, okay, uh, and then the last thing I think was, if that's everything, yeah, uh, was familiars, right? How are you with yeah, those? Yeah, it was just, uh, I had three of the IED ones and then HP. And large drop amount, something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and you have anything? Oh yeah, increases item drop rate by a large amount. Ooh, and considerably large, large amount of HP and MP. Ooh, that's a really good one. Yeah, it was. Uh, that is sexy. Yeah. Pretty happy to get that. Yeah, you don't have to switch it at all when you're doing bosses and stuff. That's yeah. really, really good. And for soloing as well, like if you're just going for drop solo, it still heals you as well. Exactly. That's, that's great. That's great. Okay, so yeah. But you know about leveling up familiars, and you're going for epics and uniques, and you know what you're looking for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, yep. um, well, I guess not anymore with drop rate, uh, but. Uh, yeah, maybe uh, item acquisition ID, yeah. or something, right? That that's like yeah, a yeah, very yeah, rare unique well. line that can stack. Yeah, so you're just holding the um, the big HP drop guy, and then you're just rotating two other characters, leveling them up. Correct. At a yes. time. Yeah. Okay. Well, the, yeah, you're in VC three now, so you should be getting thousands of them. <laughs> So you won't be in short supply for uh, for leveling them up. Mm -hmm. um, oh, you got a weapon jump three. Oh wow! So that should help your uh, your scaling for your burst as well. Yeah. That should be nice. Unfortunately, I hit a roar and it was a roar one, but ah, uh. <laughs> can't can't be lucky all the time. So. No, it can't be all the time. Like with your potential and your marble three line attack, but one is oh magic. yeah yeah got that like my first week of playing the game I'm like wow oh wow well, oh <laughs> yeah attack attack like, oh. oh and now later on I'm like oh that'll be good for my lucid soul like great some magic attack <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh yeah I had someone try that he went for like a he went for a magic attack flame on his farming arcane bow. To see if it, the summon would do more damage, but it didn't change his damage. Oh. So I think it works, but when you're a mage, but not when you're a non-mage, apparently. So it might be class-specific. Yeah, yeah. But also, the summons are a lot weaker now, because their damage um, was calculated very heavily by the percentage damage that your character has. And since that has been changed with the reboot passive, a lot of the summons have actually started doing way less damage now. So for some classes, it could just be a nerf. Yeah, yeah. For, like, like kind of yeah. summons. Mm -hmm. Other ones, yeah. Yeah, kind of summons are doing significantly less damage now, yeah. Good, but, good. Yeah, but for everyone else, soul damage from non-mages was already pretty much negligible anyway, so yeah. <laughs> nobody really cares there. Uh, okay, so we can get into the equips with the remaining time that we have. So specifically, are you... Um, 
do you have like a plan for the upcoming 51015 slash cube sales slash probably DMT? Did you hear about all that? Yeah, I heard about all that. The 51015, I'm probably just going to either go for like I just got a pat mark actually this week, so mm -hmm. that's probably going to be going to 16. My pendant maybe get it to 17, but also I am how many droplets? I think like 70 ish droplets i think off of being five set i have all the boss droplets oh, okay and nice the, mm -hmm. i mean the black bean shop as well yeah. as the meso ones with having like 800 droplets in each yeah. i don't know whether or not i should go for five set or if i should push higher in star force um right i'm kind of like i want to have five set arcane mm-hmm and I'm okay with, you know, if I lose, let's say, a mill range or something like that, just to have the five set arcane. It's kind of like a, a noob dream of mine. Ever since it came out, I was like, oh, that's a cool set. Like, I want to have that best in slot set. Mm hmm. So. Yeah. So the, the argument is basically like the 5 to 15, 5 to 15 using it for arcane, which is quote-unquote suboptimal versus like sending the 21 on CRA or something uh, mm -hmm. but also being able to work on the potential now with the money because of the DMT and because of the sale versus sending hard on CRA stuff now getting it up to 21 maybe working on some accessories but then not having the money to work on the arcane now maybe being able to get it but not upgrade it immediately right right so what kind of budget are you working with is this like a 30 40 mil budget or a 30 mil budget or um, it is, I guess, on the fly. Like, I mean, 5, 10, 15 is this week, correct? Yes, this weekend. Yeah, this Sunday. Yeah, so I've only got, like, a couple of bill right now, and mm -hmm. I, pro I might farm one, like, a couple, like, three bill more or something like that. So I don't think it'll be anything to go for 20 stars. Mm -hmm. And, uh... Okay. Yeah. So you probably won't even be able... Because you have to get four more equips, right? You probably won't be able to get all of them to 17, maybe barely. I have I have the cape at the moment, so mm -hmm. the cape's at twelve stars. So like I may try and go for that to seventeen mm -hmm. on this five ten fifteen. Mm -hmm. But also it's like, do I just settle with twelve star arcanes, get the other three equips that I need from the shops, and uh, I would probably get those to 12, you know? yeah, because if you're gonna be like, well, you're gonna be sub ten bill, right? Um, Correct. So your options would be like sending CRA to 19 probably because 21 would be too big of a leap. Um, I think I feel I'm feeling for the option to just get the arcanes, but just honestly just sit on like 11 stars and just wait for either 30% off or for one plus one to push into 15. Yeah. Um, and just buy cubes and just wait for the DMT to get all the arcanes to legendary. Is yeah. probably what I would do. Yeah, like then with like the flames and stuff like my mm -hmm. cape that i have right now is do, 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 do 123 flame score which isn't from what people have said the best or the greatest but it is it's a good know, start it's better you than could... the cape that i have now yeah so, i would just go one item at a time you know if another yeah, item exactly. overtakes the more, it then... the more items that i buy the you know i can throw master craftsman's like boss boss cubes and boss flames into them exactly while you have them yeah, yeah. so that, i think it's i think that's probably the value so i wouldn't do the star forcing i would probably buy on the cube sale so that's this friday uh, and then just get like as many black cubes as you can and then just hold on to them for next month and then use them during dmt to get all your cra gear um up and then hopefully by then uh we will get the new sunny sundays and hopefully it'll be 30 percent off or one plus one star force and then you can use that to get the star force of them all up to 15 and then when they're legendary and 15 might already be an upgrade compared to what you have now if they already have good flames as well plus yeah. the set bonus and then it'll be a small upgrade and then when a 5 10 15 hits then you can bump them all up to 17 maybe you'll have even more money then and then you can do all of the arcane up to 17 and then work on a cra to 19 during the same event right yeah i see okay that's probably what i would do yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking too, is just going for those arcanes just to have them instead of, well, and also, I mean, if I waited, I would probably get more droplets from 
farming, but mm -hmm. I also you could get a backup. You could also say like I'm sending harder on the arcane, depending on how mm -hmm. long it takes and how much money you have. You could also say like, okay, I have I can buy backups. Maybe the shops have the droplets at that point, and you can be like, yeah. I'm just gonna send the arcane to 19, because yeah. that is fairly low risk too. But I would probably work on the CRA before then because that's even lower risk. Yeah, um, and it's lower cost as well. Yeah, so yeah, if you right now, if you had like 60 bill, I would have made a completely different assessment most likely, but with your current budget, I think that's the way to go. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, and I wouldn't touch like, because um, the weapon is just too, too line attack. Yeah, weapon's too line attack, yeah. Yeah, you already have the arcane weapon, so that, that does give that value to overdrive, right? Yeah, yeah. So that is that is really good. And then you're trying to work on the new hat because of the better flame? Yeah, I I don't know how or why. I think I just tapped it a few times and it went to 15 stars. So I'm like, oh, I could go that mm -hmm. to 16 star for free and then just throw a potential on it. And yep. Whatever, so. Kind of something just to cube. Yeah, it's pretty much 40, yeah, almost 40 flame score, score improvement. So like 30 plus, so. That is quite a bit. Um, yeah, I guess that's like the 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 the, the big lines of everything. Did you, have, did you have any more like specific questions on specific pieces? No, um, I don't think so. I think everything is pretty. Mm -hmm. Well, go through the oh. just go through the equips one at a time and just see if you, if there's any any questions that pop up. Because like I, I don't like the sentence. Don't think so. I want to. I want you to know so. All right. Because yeah, we're here yeah. now. And I mean, um, I feel like I, I'm in a pretty okay state with equips. Mm -hmm. um, besides a Pino secondary, a yep. Sweetwater tattoo, which I boom from 12 to 13 because this game's great. <laughs> and I guess my newly acquired Pat Mark will be being flamed and yep. exposed. The yeah, transposed into the monocle. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, if that transposing happens before su before Sunday, then I guess um, you can like bump up the new guy to seventeen, maybe, right? <laughs> yeah, the the monocle. I don't actually no. know how much. Like, would it give that much of an increase to transpose versus like my seventeen star black bean mark? Um, yeah, depending on how good you make the flame before you do. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. And okay. depending on if it takes away a set bonus or not for the boss accessory, which I think it does, right? Because you're equipping the, um, yeah, well, for for drop protect. at least, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. but the badge, right? The badge gives a piece of the set always. Right. So that could make it not as valuable. And then if you think like, okay, that's not as valuable, then you're I'm not going to spend anything on flaming now for the pat mark and focus more on just being able to buy as many cubes Friday instead. And right. then th and then that becomes just a slightly later priority. That would be fine too. Yeah, because I think switching to the arcane set initially, even if it's a like probably even if it's a 12 star but the potential is okay it'll probably be a net wash with the 17 star abzo stuff if the flames are good enough and then all mm -hmm. of the star force pass then is going to be a huge increase and yeah, yeah. Be a huge boost yeah because i think i like when i went from my abso weapon to my abso to my arcane weapon mm -hmm. even at 15 star like my my abso weapon was also t6 attack two line attack it was like a two mil difference and i was like wow like mm -hmm. that is a lot but also the base attack on it is such a yeah you have like yeah just just a flame clean arcane weapon is usually better than like a like a 19 star good potential abzo or something you're like okay yeah. this is just <laughs> i have to make this upgrade this doesn't make any sense not to do it you know right are you ready to transpose the sweet water okay. yeah good stuff right. of course the 10 luck on the last line there i couldn't just play along yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think with, your, with the current budget, that's that feels like a solid plan. Okay. Um, yeah, and I guess what you want after that is like a big, a big, like, ideally, if you had like eighty bill now, honestly, you could do the same, but just go like mad crazy on red cubes, and then just like mass cube everything, because uh, line, or, yeah. well, not everything, but like most of the things, because a lot of the stuff also. Like especially your CRA and all the arcane, if you get really good potential on that, you're always going to trace back into it so that potential stays. Um, the right. only thing you don't want to go too hard on is the superior stuff because you're probably going to fodder into it, right? Right, right. So there, the potential is a lower priority, but the star force on the items, the 140s, is a is a higher priority, and then high star force one level 140 stuff. 
during a 5 10 15 and then um transfer hammering over okay but that'll yeah, be again uh, that'll always that'll all be for a next 5 10 15 this one is just too early in the in your current progression for that yeah it's unfortunate but these things are pretty you know pretty regular so that'll be the next big one to go for yeah and that's if, what everybody says too is like they're like oh do you have money for 5 10 15 do you have money yeah. for 5 10 15 i'm like Actually, I'm sitting at 50 mil because yeah. I just spent, you know, 200 mil on another character for Legion or whatever like that. Yep. They're like, you idiot! And I'm like, oh. <laughs> well, to be fair, 200 mil more or less during a 5, 10, 15 won't make any difference. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's like, like, that's not even one attempt. To 16s. Dude, like, if you ever work on Arcanes, um, if I wanted to Starforce my Arcanes, even my 12 star Arcane glove now, one attempt from 12 to 13 is 20 mil. My uh, my stuff that is twenty one stars one attempt at twenty one to twenty two is three hundred thirty seven mil. Wow. Like, yeah, just therefore, like when you're saying like I spent two hundred or three hundred mil on a mule, that number means such different things to people in such different stages of the game, right? Yeah, fair enough. Tap XD, shut up. <laughs> We're not tapping our canes <laughs> right now. Um, but yeah, if all the equip does does everything make sense? Do you feel like you got everything? everything? Does make sense? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Because uh, yeah, because we're like running out of time. Probably my black mage party <laughs> wants to yeah, uh, starts I getting into that. that. So uh, yeah, yeah, if there's any any shout outs you want to do to the bagels. No, I mean uh, I appreciate them crowdfunding <laughs> a progression session, and uh, yeah, you feel like it was worth their money. Oh. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll take that as yeah, an endorsement, a glaring man. endorsement. <laughs> yeah, no, it was good. It was a, uh, I got what I needed from okay. it, and what I, I guess, more than what I expected. So okay, yeah. If there's still certain topics or you feel like it's not a hundred percent or something, you can definitely use the commands in the chat. It'll either be a YouTube video or like a wiki page or something with like all the details so you can see where it's all coming from. Um, and then once the concepts really. Are super clear then you can apply to any kind of changes that are upcoming and you won't have to you know have like a full progression session you can just be in the chat and be like yo i saw a change coming up is that going to change this and this and i'll probably be like yep <laughs> because okay. you know once the systems make sense then all of the pieces moving um with each other or moving with the upcoming changes will, will that will start to click way faster as well and you won't need to you know, I'm not saying that necessarily with you, but if you're coming back after a while and you read patch notes, that'll still make sense a bit more than just be like, yeah. I have no idea what's going on. What do I yeah. do? You know. Um, okay, so if there is, uh, yeah, if there's ever, ever anything that pops up from this, you can always hit me up on Discord. If it's like a follow-up, I'll upload it to YouTube so you can watch it back if you need to. And if it's sure. just a small ch uh, question, you can always find me on uh, on Twitch chat. So I'll be here. Okay. All right, best of luck. Well yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. And uh, have, have a, a good luck on your Black Mage run. <laughs> yes, thanks. I'll need it. All right. Have a, have a good rest <laughs> of your day, and uh, I'll see you around. Later. All right. Bye. Okay, cool. Uh, so there was a Shade, 250 Shade, going for Hard Will and Hard uh, Lucid. I think some stuff to work on now. Close to 5 set. I think the 5 set is going to be a very nice boost. Some more... A little bit more boost notage on the burst skills if you really, you know, if a party is really that meticulous with you have to have this level of damage, uh, even as a support, I don't know, might be better to make your own party. That's hard though, but yeah, try to find one or two people who are also in the same situation as you, try to get everyone's, everyone on the same page, and then if everyone finds one person, if you're two, if you're two people, everyone finds one person, you're already four, and then you can look for fills. If you're three people and everyone finds one person, party is full, right? And that's how you want to look at it. If you're alone and you need five people, that's that's rough. But try discords, try Twitch chats, try maybe even subreddit, try guilds, try alliances. If you can get one person from all of those, that's all you need one person from each of those things. And then boom, you have five people, right? And um, but yeah, that's why I have my chat. Uh, we have our own discord. You can give yourself boss roles if you're looking for fills. I see more and more people in there. The activity is actually increasing quite a bit in both the guild chat, the Twitch chat and the discord I've seen recently. Um, so if you're looking for people to do bosses with, join the Discord, give yourself the role for the bosses that you're looking for, and just add the people in there. Because everyone who's in there chose to be in there because they're interested in the bosses. So you can just add the people in there like, yo, I'm looking for normal lucid, who's with me? I'm looking for hard will, who's with me, right? Or you're looking for a fill for a party, you can also check in there. Reboot Central also has that um, with, you know, 
varying results but <laughs> but I hope much, a lot of the times if you're in like a pinch you can definitely grab someone from there so yeah hopefully this was informational for most of you and hopefully it was educational for some of you um, as always, if you would like to win one of these sessions, leave a comment in the YouTube section saying that you would like to, so I can know which comments it is, uh, which comment they are, and maybe you get picked at the end of the month for a free session. Um, at the moment, I'm already pretty booked up all the way until this Sunday. I'm already starting to uh, book sessions for next week, so it's going well. So you're going to get a steady stream of these progression sessions on the channel. So I'm uh, hopefully you guys like these. I know that a lot of you guys watch these religiously while you're training. So uh, good luck on the last 20 minutes of your um, of your totem. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you. And uh, I'll see you on the next one, or I'll see you live on Twitch. I stream there every day. So uh, don't be afraid to don't be too shy, and um, feel free to drop by. And on that rhyme. We're going to wrap it up. I'll see you guys. Peace.